Okay, so second one of these thingies. Today I'm going to be doing Hisaki Shuhei from Bleach. So the image on my computer is flipped, so it looks all reversed, because we're going to be working with a mirror. And when you look at yourself in the mirror, what you see is a reflection. So this basically is what Shuhei would see if he looked in a mirror. So that when we put it on our face, it'll look backwards to us in this mirror, but everyone who looks at us will see it right. So first thing first, I already have moisturizer all over my face. So we're actually going to start with the concealer this time. And I apologize if my mirror gets in the way, but it's um, something I definitely need. So we're going to cover up any of our little mistakes. Oh yeah, hair back. Because once again, this one is really messy. Oh yeah, I'm going to play my music. Shuhei music. Okay, we put that out of the way. Photo ready, Scott. Oh, you've got some stuck in your hair right here. Okay. Make sure you blend it all the way. <laughs> okay. And wh like what we did with my other one of these jeans, we need to die, so we're going to cover our lips. This is going to be very important in our shooting. Because not only are we going to do base to this, but once we do the scars, the way I do it, we're going to cover it up to make it look a little more natural. I'm going to have to buy more powder concealer. We are going to do our eyes. Now, Shuhei doesn't have any under eye lining, so what we're just going to do is the upper eye. But we're going to bring it out a lot further because if you look, his eyes are pretty pointed. Well, he does have a bit of under eye lining. It goes to the best corner under your eye. But you'll see what I mean. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely not the best at explaining things, so we should just laugh. It's okay to be a little sloppy with this eye because it's going to be the one that has the scars anyway. Okay. So we got that. Now we're going to do our other eye. And sharpen this. Yeah. Shit camera angle, but you already saw it once. Just rewind the video. Okay. So we've got our upper eyes lined. Try to get them nice and even, but... 
it'll be okay if you don't. Now, we are going to take just a bit of this and do about a quarter under our eye. But we're going to do it from here. We kind of shape our eye a bit. Okay, that looks really funny right now, but we're going to take our white eyeliner pencil. Also needs sharpening. I should have been more prepared. Do you just hate it when that happens? Well, I do. Well, we're gonna try it once. Okay. We're gonna line the under a bit of our eye. Okay, good. And get up inside that bar that we line. And get to the other eye. Next thing I'm going to do is take my eye defining um, eyeshadow, but we're going to do the little pink on the inside of the eyes. You can't see it on that picture, even she has it. Okay, so Okay, so can you see that? Oh, yeah. Okay. The next part we're going to do is take our black eyeliner again, and we're going to do the eyebrows. Shuhei has some very short, funny shaped eyebrows, in my opinion. Now, I know we can't get our eyebrows to look exactly like Shuhei, but what we can do is this. We're going to angle upwards, and then we're going to go straight from that. And then we're going to go, ignore just this video eye right here anyway, and angle upwards. I know they look very cartoony, but it'll look better than not having Shuhei's eyebrows at all. And with the overall look, it will look better. Okay. So we're going to do that to our other eyebrow too. Hang on, I'm going to find the one where he sings his toe sense. Okay. It's better than music repeating. Okay. Yeah, those aren't quite exactly even. You, you want to get these as even as you can. So now we're going to pull up my picture of Shohei again. Oh. Wrong picture, that's not the flip one. <laughs> okay. Now what I'm going to do is take this, and Shuhei has these lines that nearly connect to the upper lash line. So we're going to go from the bottom of the eyebrow here. And we're going to make that upper fold, just slightly. Oops, that's too thick. It's okay to make mistakes. If you can't do it with your black eyeliner, it's okay to take the liquid stuff and draw it on instead. Picture. Oh, sorry.
basically making that double full. Shuhei is almost always seen with that double fold because he's so serious that he's almost perpetually glaring. You can go without, but it just won't look as tough. Yeah, so that's what we're looking for, and so it's tough Shuhei. Okay, it's a little better. And we're also going to do it up here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to cover that, too, with concealer later, but we're going to do that over here, too. Take your time with this because it is very easy to mess up. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't look quite right either, but you'll get something similar to that in the end. Okay. So that when you're like this, kind of glare, err, and tough. I'm really tough. Okay. So next, what I'm going to do is Shuhei's scars. There are three of them that go down his eye. And we're going to start right here in the middle with our black. And it's just going to make them look as jagged and messy as you want. Because, like, like I said, they're scars. They're just scratchy. We're going to make it go up to about here. And it's okay to paint into your eyebrow because you've already painted there. Yeah, what she says. And you're going to do just kind of under the eyes, try to line it up the best you can. But try and make an angle of it to show it goes through a fold. Like that. See that angle? And we're going to draw it down. This falls close to the lips. So we're going to go to about here. So there's our first scar, and we're going to do that two more times, and try to space them as even as we can. And I'm using the liquid because it's um, making thinner lines, and i got to put a cap on this. Okay. So, why do you always move my picture? Sorry. It's just you only have three Shuhei songs, and this is taking longer. Who else on the World Wide Web thinks that Shuhei and Kira should sing a duet? If you go to complaint on and play some normal bleach song, not character song. Okay, just for that, we're getting printing a whole goody. Take that. Ooh, I'm so much in pain. Yeah, but Udyu and Shu have nothing in common. So then. Okay. Okay, they know each other, but that's it. Great. <laughs> that's big time. <laughs> that's okay. We have our friend the wood cloth. The black wash cloth.
So now, before that dries totally, we're going to take this. It's Red Details Makeup. I got this at a Mangelson's in Omaha, but I'm sure you can find it at other costume shops. It's just a red makeup. You're not supposed to use it near the eyes, but this isn't going to be in our eye or anything. And you're going to trace your black line. It's okay not to follow them completely. I think he's just going to slightly give it more of a scarred, wounded look. I have to listen to over 14 minutes. And, then I can't do it. <laughs> what? 16, 20? Okay. Now we have that, and we're going to wait for it to dry, and while we do that, we're going to do our blue part. So this is blue eyeshadow, it's the creamy kind. We're going to trace our design on our nose. And this is going to go, I'm going to stretch it all the way back towards my ear here. Um, I'm going to pick a song now. And we're going to fill it in. Oh. <laughs> Found it. I love this song. Yeah. Don't you have a Bleach playlist? No. You're done, babe. Sorry, I love this song, guys. It's okay if it doesn't look totally filled in an even tone. Because we're still waiting for the other stuff to dry. Because this stuff takes forever. So we're going to take a super sweet eyeshadow. And we're going to take the blue color, right in here, that matches our other shadow. 
Sorry for the bad camera, I'm still looking. We're gonna fill it in. Is this the... And where's La La La? Put the camera back on the person doing the makeup. It is on you! Diva. Yes, you hate the diva. Oh, yeah. Country. Bob's the only way she can get where I'm getting attention. Okay, so why else do you think he's wearing this much makeup? <laughs> okay. So by about now, this stuff should be pretty dry. So we're going to take our powdered concealer again. And on the side where we did our scar, we're going to go over our scar with this stuff. Try hard, if it's still a bit wet, try hard not to smear it. And this is also where we're going to do the parts on our forehead that we do. And our, under our eyes. Now you're going to have a somewhat flaky appearance, but you can smooth that out after it fully dries. Yeah, what she said. Okay, now what we're going to do, remember these little bits of our eyebrows that we didn't get covered? We're going to make them just a bit lighter with this stuff. Now, if you're really lucky and happen to be a blonde, unlike me, this will be a lot easier. And probably even dab a bit in here, too. So now I'm going to take my eyeshadow, too. And we're going to do a kind of a brownish skin tone color in our upper eyelid here. Just to help with that shadowy look. But in a second you'll see how much light like, shoe hood you look already. Now the dark brown not only helps with a shadowy look, but it also ascends the fact that you're glaring. Okay. Last thing, and probably the either hardest or most fun. The most the important is all important. This makes the shoe head. We saw shoe head at a convention last year. Okay. It had the scar, but not the 69. You might like them over here. Huh. Now, mine's going to be kind of slanty because I'm doing this for myself. It's nicer if you have someone to help you. But her partner here doesn't... She's holding my damn camera. And I can't draw. There's our six. Ooh, so tough. It is tough for me. Okay. Now we're going to draw a straight line down. I'm going to make a stupid comment when this video is over. Okay. Now we're going to draw across the top. Now try and make sure you hate 69 a little more even with each other because they look almost like two flipped images, but this is just for how to. Here's my 69. Hold on, let me go get a shoe hay sign. Oh, but sky high. Okay, fine. Grr. Sorry again, no wig, but I'm shoe hay. Poor squad nine. Read a book. Yeah, <laughs> Sarah K. Bulletin now being published.